Hey everyone, today we're going to be discussing measures of central tendency and how they apply to data sets. So to start us off, a numerical summary measure is one number that is calculated from a sample's observations. The most common numerical summary measures are the sample mean denoted by x bar and the sample median denoted by x with a tilde over it. I'll probably just refer to it as a sample median. And the population mean is represented by the letter mu and the popu population median is represented by the symbol mu with a tilde over it. So the mean, x bar, is not a fixed constant and can vary from sample to sample. Additionally, it can be pulled strongly left or right if outliers are present in the data set. This means that it's not a uh, very re resistant measure of center because it can be uh, strongly influenced by either really high variables in the data set or high or low low variables in the data set. Now the median is not influenced by outliers as much as the mean is. This makes it a more resistant measure of center. The value of the median is derived by arranging the observations from smallest to largest and then finding the center number. If the number of observations in is odd, then the sample median is the single middle value. If n is even, then the sample median is the average of the two middle values. In a typical data set, the sample mean is not equal to the sample median since the mean represents an average and the median indicates the position where 50% of the observations are located on either side. Now the positions of x bar and the sample median can provide insight into the distribution of the data set. In a, posit in a positively skewed distribution, which is one that has a, uh, a longer upper tail and a shorter lower tail, you would uh, expect to find the sample median to be below the sample mean because the sample mean is being influenced by uh, higher observation numbers and uh, the sample median is simply uh, showing where the middle of the data is. Now in a symmetric du distribution, x bar is approximately equal to the sample median. Meanwhile, in a negative, negatively skewed distribution, the sample mean is less than the sample median because you have that trailing tail on the uh, the trailing lower tail and then a shorter uh, higher tail upper tail where uh, most of the data observations are located. Now another measure of central tendency that helps to cut down on the effects of outliers is a trimmed mean and it's a moderately sensitive measure of central tendency. Now we'll look at this uh, data set over here where we have a set of 20 observations with a uh, with a mean of 3.285 and then at this uh, at this uh, cell here where it's, it's 3.11.746 at the top that is where I used the Excel function trim mean from cells A2 to A22 which is the uh, 20 uh, observations listed in the first list in the column days and then trimmed it by 20% which would be 0 0.2 in the function, and that takes 10% off by both ends. So essentially, uh, you would take two, two, uh, two observations off each end of the data set, and you can copy that over with just the, uh, the 16 observations, and then calculate the mean for that, and that'll uh, 
give you the same uh, answer as the trimmed mean on the original data set. Now you can calculate this by hand using this formula here, X bar trimmed by, in this case, 10% or 20%. So two observations off each, each end would equal one divided by the new number of observations, which is only 16. Subtract when you subtract the two removed from each end. And then you would, sum, you would sum all those up and multiply it by 1 16th, and that gives you the same answer, 3.117. Finally, there's the mode M. This is the observational value that appears the most. If all observations occur in an equal amount, there is no mode. If there are two observations in the data set that have the same frequency, then the distribution is bimodal. If there are three observations with equal frequ frequencies, the distribution is trimodal. So I will be uploading another Patreon exclusive video that uh, goes into detail on dichotomous variables. So if you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thank you.